of today's uh, presentation is, uh, of course, a waste from the perspective of uh, an educational experience. So, um, we are looking at uh, our research that um, is focusing uh, on one side uh, on working with municipalities uh, and the tourist sector, but then also we have a very important component uh, on uh, uh, with uh, with students in schools, because we really believe that uh, education is crucial in order to have uh, not just a better, but a different way of management. So the presentation of today is the work uh, made by, by myself and uh, my uh, the coordinator of the project, uh, Andrea Guarani. Uh, here on the, you can see a picture. Um, in these days, I always um, want to play with the uh, Intelligence. It's not linked much to, the, to our project, but just put the, the title inside the artificial intelligence uh, machine and uh, they generated this image. So it's just a, a little game, uh, but I think that um, this artificial intelligence will come uh, much more predominant in the very next future and hopefully help uh, our research uh, and our work at the university. So, just, um, just to frame uh, again uh, the very importance of, of, of waste, just uh, a few data. As I mentioned yesterday, the municipal waste, uh, waste production is uh, skyrocketing uh, in, in these years, uh, and uh, with the business as usual scenario in 2015, we will have almost 3.5 billion tons. Uh, amount of uh, uh, a, a very big volume that somehow needs to be uh, managed in order to minimize uh, effects on the environment, uh, on the society, and so on. And just one uh, data from the environmental point of view, um, we know that waste production has a very big impact on CO2, but, some, but it's not the biggest. However, uh, sometimes we forgot that Landfills and waste produce 80% of methane, CH4 emissions worldwide, that are four times more dangerous than CO2. So, this is very important thing. Waste is, very, to put very bluntly, is very bad for the environment and for climate change in China. So, what we want to stress is that. Um, Waste, uh, waste management is, uh, can be improved, of course, we can recycle better um, the production of waste uh, can be uh, more defined uh, so all the residual waste is only residual waste and the plastic is more pure and the, and the glass and the paper is uh, cleaner and so on, that is very important However, the other element that we want to stress is that we want to go to waste prevention in order to shrink, uh, in order to minimize uh, that huge volume that we need uh, to manage uh, now and also in, in the future. So um, we sanitize uh, uh, this, uh, in this image uh, the, uh, all uh, the different actors uh, uh, different components of, of waste production that is from the mode of production in the, in the economy that uh, there is a technology component uh, there is a lifestyle component uh, and then also policy so in this dimension we can see that there are different uh, angles where we can work on uh, uh, if you want to tackle uh, again <coughs> waste prevention and of course uh, Want to, if we look at this, uh, this cycle, at this uh, interaction between different aspects, uh, there is an important uh, uh, mission that we can have, uh, that is the role of the education. The role of education can, uh, um, can be inserted in all the different processes uh, and has to say in all the different parts of this image. So, uh, education is important, first of all, to understand the problem, 
advertising. And then also to illustrate uh, from existing solutions, but also to propose new solutions. And then education is also important to inspire individual and collective changes. And in education, I'm not talking only about the formal education that we have at school, uh, but also uh, public events, uh, uh, also uh, flyers or posters, uh, or, uh, or, or all other uh, events that uh, there is some knowledge of, uh, exchange. If we want to look at, um, at the waste prevention, we can introduce uh, the framework of zero waste uh, approach. Uh, and that can be synthesized uh, in this uh, inverted pyramid. So at the bottom we have uh, waste elimination. That there are some kind of uh, uh, behaviors and values that we want to avoid as much as possible. And then towards the top of the pyramid, uh, on that side, uh, there are the most uh, energy uh, effective, uh, less harmful for the environment the behavior. So. We can have waste prevention on top, uh, we rethink uh, and redesign uh, all the different processes, uh, all the products. Uh, then there is a um, uh, slightly less uh, uh, good behavior, like reduce uh, uh, the production, the, the, the use of materials, but then there is also reuse and repair. And then, only at this stage of the pyramid, we have the production of waste. Here is prevention, and here we have waste management, and here we have recycling, composting, or material recovery. So everything that is on top is more energy efficiency, uh, efficient uh, um, and potentially easier because we don't have yet waste to be managed. So now we can go on more details in, in, on, on our project. Uh, um, this is a uh, focus on uh, selected uh, tourist destination in our region, Friuli Venezia Giulia, this is, this is in the northeast uh, of Italy, very close to the border with Austria and, and Slovenia. It started in 2022, and uh, uh, for the first year we have four municipalities, but then uh, the, the regional government that is funding this research uh, wanted to expand the research and we have uh, uh, two more municipalities, uh, eight more plus uh, Palmanova and Aquileia uh, that are uh, two UNESCO sites uh, in, in, our, in, our city, in our region. So as I mentioned before, the, the areas of our research are two, on one side educational project schools and on the other collaboration with municipalities, waste management companies, and tourist enterprises. So for today's presentation, we are only uh, focusing our attention on the educational part. So, what we did? Uh, well, we involved, we managed to involve uh, four middle schools, that in Italy are schools uh, with students between 11 and 14 years old, and four other vocational schools, uh, that means uh, uh, young, youngsters between 14 and 19 years old. Hotel vocational schools were chosen um, because um, in the future these, uh, these students will be the one that will work uh, in the tourist industry. Um, that is the focus of, of our world research. So overall with this, uh, with this project we, we have the activation of different skills uh, and uh, we have also different aims uh, uh, with activities that we did. For, for sure, the, the, the starting point was to retrace and analyze personal everyday behavior. And then, again, something uh, very direct uh, was to give knowledge and waste management uh, and the zero waste approach. Uh, and then we wanted to dig a bit more deeper, uh, so we wanted to promote self-reflection with some specific uh, activities that we design, uh, to imagine also possible changes uh, at the um, personal level, but also for the hotel vocational schools uh, in the way of uh, working, uh, for example, 
in, in, in the kitchen or in, in the hotel. And then uh, we have this very big goal to understand the importance of personal contribution for the common good. So we wanted to um, push the students uh, to think about the wider, the wider society and the wider common good. So what we did, um, we have an online questionnaire uh, that uh, we will discuss much more uh, later. Uh, that was given to all the all the students, uh, and it lasted around uh, 10, 20 minutes. And then we offer a two-hour workshop. Uh, we use uh, a, an online, uh, let's say, an online game uh, that was very useful to uh, engage the students. We did is is an educational game. Uh, between the online and the in-presence uh, uh, activity. So the, um, the, the device, uh, the program, generated uh, a random question from the pool of questions that we, uh, we, we prepared in advance. And then different groups in the class had to answer uh, to the question, all related to, to waste. So it was a nice way to engage uh, the group and to make some reflection. In this workshop, we have this activity, then we have a seminar, and then other group activity uh, that had to reflect uh, how they can change their behaviors, uh, and they made some posters uh, with some ideas. Uh, you can see one of the uh, one of the outcome here, uh, and then we have uh, with the with the design. Of course, it's very little in this, in this picture. But then we had also the playback theater. We uh, with the support of other. Um, the other colleague uh, with an external uh, um, company uh, from, from the university that are working with uh, these um, new skills uh, to activate uh, the reflection for, of, of, of the students using uh, theater. Um, so we did that uh, only for the middle schools. Uh, it was an um, uh, um, experience of uh, six hours uh, divided in three times and then we had uh, the last event uh, for the middle schools uh, refuting piazza with the support of, uh, in, of a regional uh, environmental agency uh, and the waste management company they brought uh, the waste in the in the in the city square they opened it uh, the residual waste and then uh, the students and all the citizens that were passing by could realize uh, how bad uh, uh, was made the 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 the, the, um, the residual waste. So you, they could see how much uh, plastic, how much weight, how much organic, uh, how much uh, paper uh, was inside that could have been uh, uh, selected uh, and divided in, in other bins. So they could see uh, they could see waste. Uh, really, it was very informative. So, the questionnaire that we gave uh, in advance to the students we, can be defined as an activation questionnaire. Um, so this was before any activity. So we received around, uh, we work with around 600 students uh, and uh, we received uh, 226 from middle schools and 282 from, from, from the vocational school. So, quite important. Uh, uh, so we had two aims uh, from this questionnaire. Um, let's start from the easy one, the second one. So it's to gather information for future analysis, uh, like the one that you will see in, in, in a bit. Uh, but the most important for us uh, was not just to generate uh, data, but to activate prior knowledge. Uh, so we wanted to maximize the experience of the students in this two hours workshop that is very limited time. And it's also very difficult to enter the schools uh, because they are very busy, they have their programs and so on. So we want the students uh, to start uh, to think uh, on their behaviors uh, and start to reflect on key terminology. So when we went uh, 
to, to deliver this workshop, they had already some reflection on, on the topic. Okay. And in the broader literature, this is called activation testing. So the structure, we have uh, six different uh, teams that were developed uh, inside this, uh, this, uh, this questionnaire. Uh, in the next slides, I will uh, analyze uh, some of the data that we believe are more uh, important, that are more significant uh, uh, for us. So, one of the first questions was, uh, would you be available to produce less waste? So, the vast majority, 90% of the students, uh, they said yes. Uh, so, this shows a general availability to change personal behaviors. So, very limited uh, uh, number of students that they don't want to, they don't want to change. And this, let's remember, before any activity. So, potentially this could have been even uh, smaller after the activity. So, in this graph, uh, you can see the, the results for the three middle schools, first, second, and third year of the middle school. And here, from the first uh, to the fifth uh, in the educational schools. So the question is, did you participate in campaign on waste prevention? So the yes is the white, the no is the green, and the remember the blue. So here we can see two different trends. The first is uh, there is a uh, increase of participation in waste management in the middle school. But it's even more uh, important that the people at the, at the high school. And in the high school, there is, a, there is no trend. They, they stay stable. So, there is the, so we don't know how to analyze uh, this, uh, these two trends. So we, can, we don't know which are the, 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 the reasons. So is it a recent trend? Uh, that maybe it started three years ago. So they and we are seeing the first fact now, so maybe this way is coming up. Huh? Or is the subject fragmentation at the high school level leading to students to forget? So maybe in the high school they always do something on waste. They don't do that in the, in the high school and they forget about that. We are not sure. And what is that? First year hmm? so middle school. First year middle, middle school, second year middle school, middle school vocational. Ah, okay. It's just So, um, another question at the beginning of the question was how much correct waste management does represent a sustainable behavior and can contribute to take care of the environment. So we can see that uh, more than 90% agree that uh, waste management, correct waste management uh, has an impact uh, on, on, on the environment. So, we can see that there is an understanding of the link between waste management and sustainability, very well defined. Um, here, on the right, uh, we, we decided to analyze uh, only these uh, answers. So that is slightly more than 9% uh, of, the, of the answers. So it's small, but still, we said, okay, let's say, let's analyze why they, they don't care much. Uh, about the link between waste uh, and sustainability. So we can see that um, we try to analyze uh, the answer that they given. They were an open question, all open answers. Uh. So they said, 57% mm, they said that uh, nothing will change with, uh, with only one person. Uh, so they are afraid, uh, they very individualized. Uh, um, or maybe they, they feel lost uh, inside the wider society, not sure. Uh, so this can be summarized by one of the responses that was, because if I am the only one to take care of the environment, um, I solve very little. And then there is also this 32% uh, that said, uh, I made mistakes in certain ways, or I don't try hard enough. Uh, and then we have other, and I don't and one something very uh, that was we had only two of 
all the questions that can be summarized in this way, they were, I think, very mean and very direct because I don't care where I throw my waste. So there is this sentiment still, there are some answers in this direction. So this is about the, the behaviors at home. Um, so again, we have first the middle schools and then we have the vocational schools. So at the bottom we have the green and the blue, never and sometimes, and then the yellow part and the black one is quite often and always. So we can see that the quite often and always responses that show that there is an increase over time of people, of students that contribute to separate waste collection at home. So how can we explain this increased student involvement over time? Maybe there is effective educational activities in recycling um, that maybe can help uh, go in this direction. Uh, or maybe there are other uh, educational, not just formal educational activities uh, at school, but maybe in, uh, in the wider society, maybe uh, there, are, there is some pressure from, from, from family. So, this slide seems a bit complicated, but it's not. I will explain. Um, we, the, 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 the slide before was about uh, um, uh, composting and recycling at home. And then here we have other kind of behaviors. So on the top left corner we have do you use items produced or made from recycled materials that can be summarized with the behavior reuse. Then we have at the bottom left we have have you happened to reuse instead of throwing away waste material? Uh, again, the user. And then top right, uh, we have uh, when an object no longer works, uh, do you try to fix uh, it? Uh, fix it before throwing it, uh, it in the waste? Uh, that is again uh, linked to uh, repair. So there are um, all the two graphs uh, um, are referring to higher. Um, behaviors in the pyramid. And what we can see that there are the trends are steady through time. So for all these behaviors, to reuse uh, on, on, on the left uh, and also to uh, repair. So maybe there is some uh, activities uh, that is working on recycling as uh, we saw before. But here, if we are going high, in the higher parts of the pyramid, we see that the trends are steady. So we can see that there is a need to develop educational projects focused on the higher levels of the pyramid in order to reduce uh, waste uh, production. And just a, a focus uh, on students and food at home. We had two different questions. Uh, at your home, when food is, is left over at the end of the meal, is it somehow reused? And the big majority of the students answer yes, always so often. And on the right, we said that yes, if it's reused, how is leftover over food used? And the big majority of the, of the students they said that it's used to prepare other food or it is given to animals. So there is a widespread awareness of the importance of food recovery at home. Again, we are not sure if this is made uh, by activities at the school or by society pressure or pressure from the, the family. And then, um, what do you, uh, how much do you agree with the following statement to reduce food waste when shopping? We have uh, the first option was buying products close to, that, the, to their expiry date on offer. And here we we have. Not a very clear clear answer. If agree and little agree uh, are the majority, so we have little on disagree and strongly agree. So we can see that uh, 
close and speedy data for, uh, for products, even in offer, is a barrier for buying products. So this is a problem related to unsold products disposal that can be solved, and there is a lot of literature around that. And then another point that we analyze is uh, uh, order only what you know you can consume. That is a very standard practice in order to reduce uh, uh, waste uh, in restaurants. Uh, this is a suggestion that is given through different um, uh, manuals. Uh, that is, um, the waitress should go and ask uh, uh, one time uh, all, the order, all the orders in order to be sure that uh, the consumer order only what uh, they know uh, what they this question has been made today to the students, and uh, okay, we saw that strongly agree and agree are the vast majority of the, of the response. So there is uh, no surprise, maybe, that there is a wide agreement that what that is wise uh, only to purchase what is known to be and what can be consumed. So we are coming at the end. Um, I think this arrow. There is something with this arrow because I'm keep this cap keep moving around uh, since we started to work on this on this presentation. So, some reflection from our project. So we divided uh, this uh, in uh, in four different areas. Key points uh, that we learned: students are receptive on waste. Uh, we saw that they were very active during the activities. It was a topic that engaged them. They had something to say in general. However, there is a small percentage that is not interested to change behaviors. So in general, interest, but still, there is a strong minority that is not interested at all. And also that uh, students have some misunderstanding on waste. Uh, they don't know some terms, they don't know where waste is going, and so on. And Definitely, we need uh, uh, to have more educational processes, and we have more. We need to have more experiences like this in order to explain what does it mean waste production and waste management. So, where to work on? Okay, higher levels of the pyramid. We need to empower the students for the common goods, and also to align more the relationship between waste production, the current mode of production, and consumption. That is an important thing. To then we have some challenges. Waste at school and in the wider society, as we also can see now in this conference, waste is not a barrier, even if we know that it should be. And uh, challenges also moving from recycling to waste prevention. There is not much literature on uh, uh, effective educational processes uh, and uh, examples of the ground. And also, there is a 